All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, got a few things to talk about today, man. We're going to talk about why people feel like the game is dying. I, I, I did some research, I thought about it, and, I, and I, see, I see your point of view. I want you to know I do see your point of view. We're going to talk about the 90s event that's coming today. We're talking about the first look at Christmas time in the city. And last but not least, we're going to keep you from getting your character deleted and uh, what to do if that happens. So if you don't do nothing else, like the video, man, because it helps the channel grow and it helps the video get seen by all the people that's been subscribed to me for years. Because if you don't like the video, then they probably won't get to see it. But anyway, damn all that. Let's just get right into the video. Ain't you know. you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me sad. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head. Alright, so first things first, man. You saw that error code that I got right there. We played a wreck game. I got an error code because some people waited right until the end and then quit. Once that happened, this is what happened to me. And this is something you're probably going to see a lot. I got no, I got nothing. I got no players up there, right? Nothing. It's like my players been gone, they've been deleted. And like what Root said yesterday, what you have to do, you go here, quit the game immediately. Don't do nothing else. I'm trying to load up another player. I only got one player, but if you got other players, don't try to load up another player. Don't do any of that. What you do is immediately quit the game. And then when you quit out, when you come back, your player should be there. It's the same exact procedure for if, let's say, if you have the game and you're playing the game and it says your um, not your player is corrupted. Or, yeah, your player is corrupted or what have you. Do the same thing. You can try to spam it and get through it if it keeps saying that you're corrupted. But nine times out of ten, what you're going to have to do is quit the game and then uh, you know, quit the game and come back. So that's just a little little tip right there, food for thought for everybody. Cause like once it loads up, and that and that Zion Williamson screen is getting longer and longer. Now you see my guys are back and everything is good. Everything is right with the world. I did not check this before I got it, but hey, we got it. Uh uh up next, man, the 90s event. This is not exactly where I want it to be, but uh we're gonna take it. Oh yeah, it is exactly where I want it to be, but this is not zero. Boom, there we go. The 90s event is today, and um from what we can understand, uh, it's gonna be, we got the requirements and everything for it. Y'all can't see the requirements because I did not set the screen up correctly, so I shall read the requirements to you uh, right here. Actually, y'all can see the requirements. It says, um, show out against the best players in the city to win exclusive 90s throwback gear, and you gotta be a 90 overall to participate. Like, that's cool right there because a lot of people were talking about, you know, we have the other events. We got the, the events for the people like 75 and below, you know, the boot campers and all that stuff. And yes, I did buy a trike and I made a, uh, I made a Vipers, a Vipers uh, themed trike. Not even gonna lie to y'all, man. That's what I did. Man. I had to do. I had to get put on for my shit, man. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Look, uh, up next, we got the first look at Christmas in the city. I don't know how NBA 2K uh, leaks and leaks and Intel gets this stuff, man. But Christmas time in the city, man. Check it out, bro. Boom, you got this. This is what it's gonna look like. I, and you know it's legit because we have the Christmas tree in the background, bro. So, you know, and uh, I'm pretty sure that this was just like, look, I mean, you got the snow everywhere. I don't know if it's gonna be actively snowing like my guy. Um, yeah, this is the MC, so we know it's all legit. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be actively snowing like, like, like how it snows um you know uh like on my guy statistics uh stream or what have you how he had the active snow going i sincerely hope not my biggest um thing is how will this impact gameplay like i just don't want it to be something that's going to be like okay we just recently fixed the uh you know the lag and all of that in the park not the lag literally but the frame drops and things like that in the park they've done so many things and worked so hard to get the to get that straightened out will introducing another skin to the city or some more stuff to the city uh you know is that going to impact the performance of the city and how long will it be christmas is it gonna be christmas to july or <laughs> whatever like that you know i don't know that we don't know but i think it's cool it's cool that they're gonna skin and theme the city and do stuff like that it's always nice to do christmas i don't even know what's next they're gonna put hearts up there for valentine's day and you know, el uh, uh, elves, not elves, but uh, you know, uh, St. Patrick's Day, uh, Lucky Charms guys with his uh, no but what, what, what are they put down in the comment section? What's the Lucky Charms uh, guy? Uh, Lucky is a 
Leprechaun, there you go, Leprechaun. Thanks, thanks, Bridget. Breezy in the background holding the chat down or whatever, man. You know, um, I don't know how they're gonna do that. So, so you know, I don't know if they're gonna continuously theme it or they're just gonna leave it like this until maybe March and then we'll get back to summer theme or whatever. Either way, good idea, it's dope. Um, I don't know, like I said, if it's gonna be a, a living, breathing, growing city or whatever, but, but whatever they do, as long as it doesn't impact gameplay, I'm all for it because nobody wants to sit there 100% of the time and play on the same courts over and over and everything looks the same. That's one of the biggest gripes for the 2K community that we have. And another big gripe that the 2K community has right now is that a lot of people just feel like they are not having fun with the game. Let me answer some questions for you about the trike. The trike is a little faster than the bike. Um, it's way faster than the bike if it's a regular speed bike. If they have the upgraded speed attachment, then it is, um, then it's a it's it's about the same speed and if you're on the skateboard but you're spamming right trigger it's not faster than the skateboard but it is faster than the skate oh, sorry about that i didn't mean to hit the mic but it is faster than the skateboard if you're not spamming right trigger so you just you can just ride around i like it man you can you can do donuts and stuff like that and all that so just in case y'all was wondering and uh you know my career on last gen is is really the wave if you're trying to get your vc up bro they gave us the way to do it go back play your old player play my career on last gen and just keep getting those endorsements man you see me playing that that's all people say damn you stay in my career hey it is what it is man that's how you get your money up not your funny up <laughs> big fucking hey anyway yeah hey if y'all if y'all rock with wavy baby man put that put put uh Put Velveeta down in the comment section if you rock with Wavy Baby, man. But I told y'all this is going to be the same. It's a living wallet that you're sharing. Use your old player. You do two or three endorsements. You, do, you play two or three games a day. You play two or three games a day, you're going to get 30000 And then you're going to get the endorsement. And then, boom, you go play a park game, get a couple fans. Boom, you good, man. You can, you, can, you can really grind your VC up on this. But anyway, uh, speaking of the park, man, why people are not having fun, why I feel like a lot of people are not having fun with this game. They feel like it's a trash game and stuff like that. I thought about it, and I said, well, why do we have so much fun with it? But a lot of people aren't. And it's probably because we're playing different game modes. Because we mostly play Wreck. Now, my guy T. Mizzle is a different breed. I'm not going to lie to you. He loves the game, having so much fun with it. And uh, he's, yeah, he plays primarily Park. But we play primarily Rick. And uh, when you're playing Rec, you can play zones, you can play help defense. There's a lot less space, and you know you can you know that you can be a lot more efficient. You got more time to get a better teammate grade. You got so much other things that you can do in Rec. Now, if you're losing, you end up wait 30 minutes to lose. But the thing is, I feel like the reason that a lot of people are not having fun is because we we go into Rec with a squad. If we go into Rec with a squad and you don't go into Rec with a squad, because we've done this before, nine times out of ten, you're going to get 260 overall bots. 2K has to fix this. It has to be fixed. You cannot be giving people that really don't even play the game like that 60 overall bots, bro. Like, are you serious? You're giving them 60 overall bots and they probably barely 60 overall themselves and then they don't even have anybody they can rely. The bots don't play defense. They don't do anything at all. They're just literally, they all, you know what the bots out there to do? They're out there to catch the curry slide and get shot. Shot on. That's what, that's what people do. Size up, curry, pull on the bots. The bots is free cash. Like, we have to do something about that. We don't need super bots like we had in 2K18 and 2K19, maybe 2K20 sometimes. But we the bots need to at least be competent, man. Like, we can't sit here. You can't sit here and just say that people... Like, the game is literally not set up to play by yourself. And, and most of the community probably does play by themselves. So, like, we got... Something's got to be said for those guys. We need something other than 60 overall bots in the park. I mean, not in the park, but in the wreck. And if we... And, and, and even if we're playing... With our guy, if our guy lags out, the other team immediately focuses all their efforts and attention on abusing the bot, exploiting the bot. So, like, like that's that's a real issue. Just make the bot semi-competent, man. He ain't got to be great. Make him play. Like, they used to play off the tendencies of the person uh, who quit. But now that it seems like that doesn't even happen before or, or what have you. Like, just give us somebody competent in there so that these guys can have fun and they have a reason to stay in the game. And it's not like, dang, we got a bot, the game is out of you up 30. Dang, we got a bot, the game automatically over. If you're up 30 in the second quarter and you get a bot, you can literally lose that game. Ain't no doubt about it. You can try to play man and do all that stuff, but if they keep finding the bot and shooting threes on the bot, you're done. And then the bot's gonna, the bot's gonna sit here and just straight block 
on defense, I mean on offense, so you can't really do anything. So, you know, that's that's one thing. But like if you're playing parking and it's just rim run fest 99 in the park, I can see why you're probably not having fun in the game. And then you can't go into the wreck because you really don't have a whole squad like that. And um when I go in the wreck, I don't even care. I'm playing for just rep or whatever. But when some people go in the wreck, they really end up trying to sweat and win. So like I could definitely see why some people aren't having fun uh with the game. But I'm thinking it's mostly because a lot of people are playing park and i can definitely see how park can get repetitive like really quickly just because most people just they just rim run and dump boom just dump boom boom rim run dump boom that's all they do so i get it man i, I can definitely see your point of view if you're not really having that fun much fun with the game i think like i said the most people that are not having fun with the game are the people that play because most content creators that's all they play is park and that's probably why they're saying they're not having fun um because just because of that a lot of people that 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 like us uh, if you're a random i can definitely see how you're not having fun because you can barely get a game as a random in this joint like i went i, play, I tried to do raging with randoms the other day i could barely get a game so we got to make it easier for these randoms to get game we need a come up court because you really definitely damn near can't get a game if you're not and you would think that having it with the shoot around makes it easier but it doesn't because you're sitting there shooting around and you're shooting around. You can't see if somebody else pulls up. Let's say the, another team won the game. I'm shooting around because I'm trying to play and a squad pulls up. I can't even see that squad pull up to know that I'm about to lose my game. So I could just go somewhere else and not wasting my time. So if you're a random, it's really difficult. If you play by yourself a lot, it's difficult for you to get games in this joint. So I can definitely understand how you're not even enjoying it. These are things that 2K needs to address. We need better bots. We need the, uh, better bots in the, in the park and in the uh, wreck. We need uh, the come up court. It needs to be back. Even if you just put a come up how about this turn the forest or or one of these garage courts in the middle of the city just turn that into a into a into a unilateral come up court and then that joint will be popping or what have you like just just do something like that because we do these get people not everybody has a team and you shouldn't be punished because you don't want to play with a team like obviously you're not going to win that much if you don't play with a team but i should at least be able to play the game if i'm not playing with a team right but but the main thing is if you're playing uh, if you're playing park, all those things can combine to make you have a miserable experience. And then when you do get on the court, your your reward is to get uh, sold because your your random can't play no defense, and uh, he's gonna get rim ran to death. It, it sucks. I, I could definitely see it. So like I said, if you don't have a team to play with, you're you playing as a random by yourself. And if you are um and, and you know you don't play rec, I can see how you do it. But like I said, you try to avoid the whole thing where I can't get games by going to the rec. And then when you go into the wreck, your reward is a 60 overall, two, two or three 60 overall bots that don't even know nothing. And then you just going to get ran all day. And like, it, it, it's, just, it's, a, it's an unfortunate situation. So I can see why a lot of people are saying the game is, is trash and is dead. If you have, if you do have a team though, you're probably enjoying the game. Um, if you primarily play park, it's, it's probably about 50, 50, but if they fix a lot of those things, I think we'll have a lot more, um, a lot more people enjoying the game a lot more y'all let me know if y'all think i'm correct down in the comment section and what else do y'all think it is besides this rim rim fest 99 in the in the uh park and stuff like that because i can definitely see how that can get old really quickly but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man and um let's get ready i'm about to get ready for streaming uh we're gonna stream this event and i'm holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's town Gosh,